All right, now before we get out of the car, I want you to know that this isn't the McLaren that we couldn't get a book for this month again. Are you fucking kidding me? Every time I come out here, you promise me a McLaren and I always get here and it's some shit car. Well, Every I mean, time. either we get some kind of car to review or we could just go without. What do you want to do? I mean, I can, a McLaren's not exactly easy to come by these days, well, especially around wh here. What are we? What are we doing? Well, we got to take what we can get. So either you want to put out a video, or you just want to fucking wait all year for a McLaren. You know the area is barren of fucking sports cars. Well, I mean, let's fucking take a look, see what we got then. All right. Well, there she is. This? Well, yeah, I could have got the ST, but I figured you'd like the RS a little bit more. I mean, that's like picking between cancer and AIDS. Well, it's all we could get, Pablo. You want to do this thing or not? Fuck it. Listen to me, Rick. Next time you book one of these shit fucking cars, you're canned. What? You get that? Fired. You God will damn. never be able to find a job in this town ever again. Goddamn, Pablo. Ever! That's a piece of shit. Where's my McLaren? What's up guys, my name is Pablo Sanchez, and I guess I'll be reviewing this fucking RS here. Alright, so right off the bat you can tell that they put this spoiler on there trying to be sporty. I wonder where they got that idea from. Honestly, not quite sure what RS stands for, but my personal guess would be really shitty because this car is a piece of fucking shit. What is that? You know, if we would have got a, a McLaren like we were supposed to, that would have been carbon fiber. But we got a fucking Focus where they got a plastic ass diffuser on it. That's a disgrace. So what's the perfect formula for a perfect sports car? Brembo brakes, dual exit exhaust, a nice diffuser, a wing. But then Ford goes in and puts it on a hatchback and fucks the whole formula up. So I really don't like Ford that much, but I will give them credit when credit's due. They know this car is going to break down. They put a factory option tow hook in there that you can screw into the front bumper so whenever your car breaks down, you can at least pull it off to the side of the road. Let's take a look at the heart of this thing. Man, what is this, 2017? What the fuck is this bullshit? Have we reverted back to the goddamn Stone Age or something? Are we going to start throwing shit at each other again? Oh, I see what they did here. They put a bunch of plastic over it to cover up all the flaws, just like the Kardashian family. So this is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost, just like they have in the Mustang. I shouldn't have to explain anymore. If it has the same engine as a Mustang, it's probably trash. But let's go ahead and shut the hood and see how much power this thing doesn't make by taking it on a test drive. I mean, it's Ford, you know? Oh. All right, so disclaimer before we start driving this car, you can take the 2.3 out of the Mustang, but you can't take the Mustang out of the 2.3. So be careful when you're driving this thing. You don't want to run over anybody. It has the shell of a mom car, but it still has the heart of a crowd killer. So be careful. I have uh, pretty low expectations. Everybody always wants to talk about drift mode on these cars, which I think is kind of childish. So we're not going to talk about that today. We're not going to be using it. I'm not a 13 year old boy. We're not gonna drift an all-wheel drive mom car. That's just stupid. You wanna drift, buy a 240. So if, if you're an owner of an ST and you're looking for an upgrade, pretty much the only difference is this car is all-wheel drive. About no other difference. Let's just do a pull real quick. Yeah, actually, literally no difference whatsoever between the ST and this car. I didn't know that it cost $20,000 to make two extra wheels spin, but that's Ford for you. So to be honest with you, I'm pretty much done driving this thing already. I'm extremely bored. It's been literally 30 seconds. We're going to take it back to the customer. I'm done. I want to go home. I just want to get in my car and just drive a real car again. I'm sick of it. Hey, we should review that. Now that's a real car. Chevy. I just feel like such a fucking douche right now. I hope none of my friends are looking at me. Pretty sure I'm gonna be single after this video hits. Hey look, another RS. So in conclusion, this car is everything I thought it would be. A major disappointment. Like I said, it's basically an ST with two extra wheels spinning. So if overpaying for a vehicle is your forte, 
have the fuck at it, this is the car for you. I'm Pablo Sanchez. Next time, I hope it's a fucking McLaren. I think it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs>